Good morning, good evening or just hi, depending on when you are watching this video. My name is der Frodo and I'm casting some StarCraft 2 stuff in German. And now I'm trying to improve some English language and grammar of mine. And yeah, I'm trying to make a tutorial for Diablo 3 and how to get to Whimsyshire. To reach uh, Whimsyshire you need the Staff of Herding and you can uh, build it yourself by finding first of all and step one the Black Mushroom. You need to go to the Cathedral uh, level one and I highly recommend to do that on the normal difficulty because you might need to restart the game some several times and uh, yeah you can find the Black Mushroom as I said in Cathedral level 1. It doesn't need to spawn on your game, that's why you need, um, you maybe are forced to restart the game several times. I uh, think I needed s at least 10 tries to find it. It's a place somewhere in this level and uh, you can find it by looking for a white uh, mushroom on the floor and yeah, that will give you the black mushroom. Second of all, you need Leoric's Shimbone and it's placed in Leoric's Manor. For this, you need to port to the Act 1 and Leoric Manor and try to find it in the chimney which is placed always at the same spot but not always contains Leoric's shin bone. While there is nothing placed in the chimney you need to restart the level and do it once more. When there is anything placed in it it is absolutely sure it contains absolutely sure the shin bone and then you can move on to step 3. Step 3 contains the liquid rainbow. It can be found in the mysterious cave and for that you need to find Savin, the alchemist first. He can be found in the Dalgur oasis. To find him you need to walk along the border of the region and there are some bases uh, placed in which you need to head and maybe he's placed there. If you can't find him you need as always, restart the level and do it until you find Savin the Alchemist. When you have found him, he will open up the door to the mysterious cave and in there, there might be a mysterious chest which only contains the liquid rainbow. It can be found on level 1 of the mysterious cave and if it's not there, yeah, you need to restart the level and you need to find 7 again. Seid ihr schon einmal nach Kejistan gereist? Ich bin in meinen jüngeren Jahren selten weiter als in die Westmark gekommen. Nachdem der Orden mich aufgenommen hat, gab es kaum Gründe zu reisen. For the next step you need to go to Act 2. There you can find on the last quest a little girl which sells you weird spell. If you go to the last quest you find it in your hometown, otherwise you can find it in the big town Caldeum.
The next ingredient can be found in Act 3. You need to go to the fields of slaughter and there are two random dungeons which can appear with a chance of 50%. One dungeon is named the Icefall Caves and the other is named Caverns of Frost. And the Caverns of Frost are the caverns you need to go into and try to find the lead encounter named Shiltara. She can be placed on level 2 of the Caverns of Frost and she drops the Gering Gemstone. If you don't find her on level 2 of the Caverns of Frost, you may need to restart the level. Please remember to search all the level 2 because she might be borrowed and she is sometimes hard to find. The last ingredient isn't exactly an ingredient, it's, to be honest, the plants for the Staff of Herding. You can find them by defeating e Jewel, the Fallen Angel, well, ex-Lieutenant of um, Turel, and uh, it's the last quest before you reach Diablo. So you need to go to Act 4 and fight uh, through the mobs and finally meet Isuel and hopefully get the plans at the first time. Otherwise you need to repeat the level until he dropped them. The last step contains building and upgrading the staff of herding and first of all you need of course to build it, you need the plants and bring them to the um, blacksmith, there you can right click on them and teach him how to do the staff of herding. You need all the ingredients and uh, some money to build them, uh, build the staff of herding and after that you can update it for each difficulty and for that you go to Groel, the quartermaster in Bastion's Keep. He sells you the upgrade for each level but you need to be on Act 4 in the last quest to buy them. Now finally we are able to reach the pony level. We go to Act 1 and follow the old Tristram road to find the ghost of the Co-King. To open the portal to the pony level you need to take your staff of herding with you in your inventory and then you have a nice dialogue with the Co-King and after that you will be able to go to the pony level. I highly recommend to put your staff of herding back to your treasure chest because it's kind of risky to destroy the yeah, staff of herding by making space for any magical items. The pony level itself 
doesn't bring you that much EP and to be honest the ponies are pretty hard to kill so I recommend not to join the pony level before you reached level 30. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and I will enjoy some thumbs up and even commentaries in the commentary section below. My name is Der Frodo and I hope you will yeah, join me on my next videos too. See ya!